Hey, honey. I'm home. Hey there. I just wanted to say, on a day like today, especially a day like today, I want to let you know how special you are and how grateful and thankful I am to have you in my life. And of course, happy Valentine's Day. I love you, baby. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Now I'm gonna make a quick video, that way I can spend the rest of the night with you. Oof. Hey everybody, how's it going? You know, I'm having the strangest day. I found this phone over by the world's most dangerous cliff. It was just abandoned there. Almost as though the person who owned the phone fell off the cliff. Thing is, there's an old legend about that cliff. Those who fall in there come back from the dead to fulfill their final desire. Of course, that's just a stupid myth. And uh, I already got in touch with the person who owns the phone. I'm going to give them a call at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Why does that sound so familiar? Oh yeah, isn't that some sort of challenge that YouTubers do? Where they'll call a cartoon character at 3 o'clock in the morning? Or just generally try to capture something scary on tape at 3 a.m.? Now, I don't want to blow anyone's mind here, but I'm not exactly a Gen Zer. But, back in the day, before YouTube... Yeah, I know. We used to have something similar to this. Kids in the schoolyard would tell tales of if you went into a dark room and put your hands on a mirror and said Bloody Mary three times, a woman covered in blood would come out of the mirror and kill you. Of course, if she did kill you, then how would anyone ever be able to pass on that story? Then again, we were kids and logic didn't have to be tight. This feels like an evolution of that mixed in with today's modern internet. Of course, judging by how many of these channels have emerged, one can only assume that they've taken the idea of urban legends and turned them into a monetary game machine, mutilating the idea of myths and folklores the same way Hollywood does. No, God, please, no, no! Of course, being for an audience of kids, children tend not to pick up on these things. It's meant more for cheap thrills to watch and talk about with your friends while at sleepovers. Some of these things I definitely would have tried when I was a kid. Though with how popular these things have become, they've gotten a bit out of hand. Hello? Is, is, this, is this Jesus? Yes, it is. Um, is this the devil? Yes, it's the devil! I absolutely hate you, Jesus. And I absolutely hate you, devil. Oh my god, I hate you. I hope you die. It's gotten to a point where 3am calls and 3am channels for that matter have become a bit of a subculture in itself. Speaking of which, it's, it's 3am now, so just give me a sec. I'm going to call the owner of this phone real quick. You have dialed a number that is not available from your calling area. No answer. I mean, I thought it was weird to have me call them at 3 a.m., but uh, maybe I'll just call them in the morning when I wake up. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so uh, it's become a bit of a subculture in itself. Oh my god, guys, the phone is ringing. And it says no caller ID. Maybe it's the owner. I'm going to answer it. 
Hello? Is that you? Yes, this is me. Are you the one? The one? Yeah, I I'm the one who found your phone. Could you be the one? Yeah, I am the one. Okay, so do you want like an address or something, or do you maybe want to meet up in a public place, or... Oh my god, you guys. She just hung up on me. That's kind of freaky. I almost pissed myself, so... I'm gonna take care of that real quick. calms the nerves. Anyway, what was I talking about? 3 a.m. channels. Yeah. So they've become a bit of a subculture and no one's keeping that flame alive quite like N and A Productions. Hey and it's called welcome back on a brand new video, another day, another banger. Guys, on today's video we have a really, really, really insane video, alright guys? So guys, on today's video we are gonna be FaceTiming the aliens from Toy Story movie at 3 a.m. at what I was guys, alright? Yo, it's like I don't know what this guy is on, but he's been at it for years. He's literally making the same video over and over again. Let me walk you through it. It always starts with, Hey everybody, I'll be calling this fictional character tonight. But before we do that, subscribe to my channel. Also, enter into my fake free giveaway if you subscribe. Honestly, I love it. He's been using the same clip since the inception of his channel. Hey, and it's called Welcome Back to another brand new video, another day, another banger! Guys, on tonight's video, we have an insane video. I'm mailing myself to the cartoon cat at 3 a.m. in the morning. Wanna join my free gift cards giveaway? Subscribe to my channel. Hey everybody, it's your boy Tommy T back at it with the kicks. Today we got another banger of a video for you. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be entered into this free contest giveaway for one dollar. He then follows it up with, if I can spin this fidget spinner for five seconds, you have to like the video. And holy shit, this guy has an infinite number of fidget spinners. Guys, if I spin this fidget spinner. 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 He'll then go into a breakdance segment just to pad out the time a little longer. And before this video actually starts, you know what time it is? I am you. <laughs> Then after all that, he finally calls the fictional character, who for some reason always has a scary voice. Oh, hello. It's me, Mr. Krabs. How can I help you today? By the end of it, the fictional character has found a way into his house and is trying to kill him. And by that, I mean a cardboard cutout of him is being held up by a popsicle stick, being waved around by someone hiding behind a wall. Oh my god! Yo! Hide the pin down cosita! Yo! Guys, he's actually here. There's no way. He just opened the door. Yo, how did he even open the door? Guys, this is so insane. Oh my god. Yo, Thanos, what do you want? I have your hand over here. Yo, Thanos, please stop it. You look so creepy. Yo, and he doesn't focus on him. Yo, look, guys, it's actually Thanos. Oh my god. Though in later videos, you can tell he's definitely increased the budget, investing in top quality CG. Where is Mr. Krabs? 
Oh my god, Mr. Krabs? And that is literally the video. Day after day after day after day. They're all pretty much interchangeable with each other. And if you think he's embarrassing himself for making a carbon copy of his own videos, somehow he's become even more embarrassing by converting himself into a carbon copy of the Paul Brothers, as he's now trying his hand at becoming a YouTube boxer. This is what's gonna happen when we're in Dubai. Not too great of a boxer, but mind you, without money, the Paul Brothers wouldn't be either. Now I know I've been ragging on him this whole time, but I gotta give him props. He's ignored all the haters and is doing what he wants in life, which is more than I could say for most people. So, is that the end of the 3AM channels? Of course not. There are still plenty of them to go around. It's just that none of them really stick out and they all kind of suck. That is, until one channel had to rebrand itself due to the lockdown. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel where we take everything completely serious and uh, all the content is completely boring. That's uh, right. Yeah. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about um, paint drawing on a wall and lawnmowers. And I'll be discussing the, the long process of grass. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. No! Yeah, what is up, you guys? Enter Arcade Craniacs. This channel used to be about arcade games and spending a lot of time at Chuck E. Cheese's. Until, slowly, they had to turn towards 3 a.m. content after arcades began to close down due to the pandemic. It's a very scary thing for me, Nicole. This is our channel. Like I said, without the arcade, we have no content to post. Turned out to be a smart move, as now you won't find anything but 3AM content on their channel. Which ultimately ended up being a lucrative move, multiplying their views significantly. And while at first glance they may appear like other 3AM channels, their content is very meta. And they even take the piss out of stereotypical 3AM tropes. Scary man, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Ah! What? what happened? Edward, I just parted. You what? Their approach to being super aware of how dumb their content is only makes it all the better. He is gone from the bed and our door is literally wide open. What the hell? I gotta smell if his butt smells. Oh, check, check, please tell me the sheets aren't ruined. <coughs> oh. And as of right now, their channel is still going strong. Wait, what happens when you drink the potion? After you drink it, you turn into Ligma. What's Ligma? <laughs> so, I think that's enough talking about 3AM channels at 3AM for now. I guess whoever's phone this is isn't coming tonight, so... I'm gonna hit the sack. Did you guys hear that? I think it came from the kitchen. Come on! Now I know you guys heard that too. I know I'm not crazy. We heard that. Hello? Hello? If you're out there, I heard you. Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god. What is that? Is that somebody? Hey! Hey, I see you there! Don't pretend I don't see you! I'm turning on the lights! Man, I, I could have sworn I heard something. You guys heard it too, right? I'm not crazy, right? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just... It is 3 a.m. I, I think I've just been up too late. What do you say we just go back to my room, I'll wrap up this video, and... I'll go to sleep, because you know what? That sounds pretty great. Well, you know, I can never- HOLY SHIT! WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT?! HOLY- ah! Oh my god, this is crazy! 
I'm being chased by a ghost! been a very faithful person, but I haven't ever committed any crimes. Not any serious ones anyway. I'm not a bad person. If you do exist, just help me out this once. Just this once! Ah! The power of Christ compels you! I knew it. Ah. You want it? It's all yours! It's all yours! From me to you! Go ahead! Go ahead! Wait! No! 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 Everybody, so uh, that was the video. If you like what you saw, co comment down below and let me know what you would like to see me do next. Because you know, I might do it for the next one. Because there will, there will inevitably be a next one. And uh, on that note, hey, happy Valentine's Day! I hope you're having a good one. Because you know, I know I am. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. <laughs>